Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. But today we're going over my 22 month ownership of my first supercar. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have your back. And today we're gonna go over my ownership of my first supercar, my 2018 R8 RWS. So I got this car new in 2018, but before I got this car, I had two other cars I was looking at. The first car was a Ferrari FF, about a 2014-15, or an AMG GT or GTS. I decided to go with the R8 RWS for a couple different reasons. First reason, I walked into my local Ferrari dealership and uh, I walked around for about an hour and no one said anything to me. Kind of cocky move on my standpoint or their standpoint, however you look at it. Um, I was gonna spend a, a boatload of money on a car. I figured I should at least be acknowledged with a high. So that didn't start off well. So from there, um, I looked online to see if there was any AMG GTs available in the area and there weren't. So it was a simple decision just to drive to the local Audi dealership and see what they had. So I ended up going to Audi Exchange in Highland Park, Illinois, where they had the Audi R8 RWS. I never heard of it before. I always heard of the R8, but uh, I was happy with the sticker price of this. So I decided to figure out what this was all about. Um, and really I found out RWS stands for Rear Wheel Series. They made 999 of these and only 320 were in America. So I figured if I was gonna get a supercar, let me get one that had a 0.0001% chance in going up in value instead of the other two that are actually going down in value. Uh, this one also went down in value. <laughs> So at that Audi dealership, they had a black on black on black Audi. And I figured uh, if I'm spending a bunch of money, I kind of want something different. Uh, so I looked around and there was another dealership, Fletcher Jones Audi, downtown Chicago, that had this one, the Daytona gray with the red interior and the black rims. So I decided to pick this one up. So this one is a fully equipped R8 RWS. The only thing it didn't come stock with was the red stripe. The red stripe only comes on the R8 RWS and that pays homage to the LMS uh, race car. So I decided to wrap the body in a full body PPF film and then I put a matte red stripe on there uh, just to make it stand out a bit more. So now let's get into the adventures I actually had with this car. And well, first off, there's not many adventures. It's kind of the reason I'm selling it. I've had this car for 22 months and I put 4,300 miles on it. For example, I just bought a Jeep Gladiator a month ago and I have 800 plus miles on that already. So that's kind of a reason, that's a large reason why I'm getting rid of it. But first off, I did do a track day with this uh, R8. I went to Road America, did 156 miles on the track and it was crazy, awesome. I highly recommend it. The next thing I did is I actually, at a separate time, went to Road America as well to watch some racing, and I actually camped out at Road America in the R8. You see, I do a lot of motorcycle camping, so I'm good at packing all my camping stuff on a motorcycle, so this was pretty easy to get my camping stuff in. So that was a you know, fun little adventure, watch some supercars while camping in a supercar. Next off, I did the normal stuff. I drove it to work every now and then, uh, not too much. And then I also went out to dinner with my wife, maybe less than, less than seven times, which is pretty sad. Uh, we have young little children and normally we take our children out to dinner. So this car didn't work for that. So that means I didn't use it. And then I guess the last other adventure I had with this is I did a day rally about 250 miles, a semi-organized rally, nothing crazy. So as you can see, those are all the stories in 22 months of owning my first supercar. Either I suck at owning a supercar or a supercar is just not for me. So what I did have planned for this year because I felt I wasn't using the car enough was actually I was gonna do an organized couple day rally. So I signed up for a crown rally which is actually happening next week uh, and that's in Denver. I was gonna drive out there, do the two or three day rally out there and then drive back. That would have put four or 5,000 miles on the, on the R8. But due to everything that's happening in the world, I didn't feel like exposing myself to 400 people to show off supercars when there's a potential that, uh, you know, this virus is real or not. 
So I decided to pull out of that rally and ended up selling the supercar. I don't know when the world's getting back to normal. Um, clearly I don't use the car without the virus, but the virus was kind of like, eh, why even have the car? So that's the reason I'm selling the R8 RWS. I don't use it enough. Uh, I like other cars. I have motorcycles, cars, I use them more. And this is not a family car. Um, so going back to my other two options, the AMG GT and the Ferrari FF, I 100% believe I would have used the Ferrari FF at least 10 times more than this because I could enjoy the luxury of a supercar. I could enjoy that V12. I could enjoy all wheel drive for winter. It would be more of a daily driver and I could take my family in it. So look, you live and learn. I'm not upset about owning this thing. It's been a great car. It's been a great experience, but I think I should have gone with the Ferrari FF. So I've actually sold this car and it's getting picked up in the next 15 minutes. So I got to wrap this video up but I sold this car on Bring a Trailer and I'm gonna do a video on how to list your car on Bring a Trailer because it was new to me. And another video I'm gonna do for you guys is ownership of a supercar from brand new to 22 months, how much it cost me in insurance, in payments, in all of that fun stuff. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I know this is weird lighting for all my videos. I tried something new. I know I'm dressed up, <laughs> which I don't normally do, trying something new just for this video. But thanks again, and until next time, I'll see you then.